We'll start this video off with a little rhyme. It's Hey You, Video 2. That's good, isn't it? Right. I've gone a bit out of tune, I think. I've gone out of tune. Um, yeah, I want to better turn the fuzz box back on. Um, yeah, so the, it, it's it's starts it's on the B string pretty much uh, the beginning of it. The first bit is this. And I'm obviously playing that nine times to to it exacerbate what you're doing. And I'm doing a bit of raking. But that's the first bit, sort of. That's the first bit. As I say, every time you play it, you play it differently. But that's basically the notes. The bends, also the sound. I've got a bit of fuzz. I've got some compression. I've got a bit of flange on it. There, yeah, and a bit of echo. Normal, normal um, Gilmore sort of stuff. Obviously, he's a, um, he likes his fuzz. He likes his delay, echo delay, and he likes his. Uh, Likes his compression, and he was, you know, he was obviously very pedal influenced during the war period, late seventies. Well, always, anyway, still is. Pick, pick the note at the top on the bend, then let go. Now that's how I play it, and whether that's right or not, I don't know. I, as I say, I don't, don't listen to Wall anymore. But that's a version. He wouldn't play it the same every time anyway. The main point is to listen and f feel your way through it, because basically, it's that bend, I'd say on the G string, that's five, seven. You're bending that to there, to nine. Go back to that note and that is actually a three fret bend that I do at the end whether he does or not I don't know that's how I end the slope that part of the solo off so I'm actually bending that from there to there but so basically it's two two And it, it's still on the G string, all on the G string. Them notes, but don't play that note, bend, bend from that note. And start off on that note. So obviously you've gone gone down to the B string there. So and the notes up. But obviously you're bending.
and notice I'm hitting the hitting the at the top of the bend. Hang on, I, I played it wrong there because I was concentrating on where I was hitting the making contact with the string. But see, I'm hitting the string, with the, I'm striking the string while the string is bent. So really, that's 10, 12, 13 on the B string. Right, that's the next bit. So you're bending, what's that, 15 to 17 on the B string. So you're bending from there to there. See, I, I play that with my little finger there. It's a lot going on there. It's going to be very hard to explain that. So it's... So you're playing that note. I'm trying to, it's hard. Basically it's that. And the next, the in bit is And obviously vibrato, I only mentioned vibrato. Um, so the notes are, what's that one? So that's 15, it's 17 on the B, 14, 15, 17, this is all on the E string. 17, and that's, a, and that's another half step, so one fret. There's a lot going on there. Hot, too hard to explain half of it. I've got two minutes left. Perhaps that might be a good place to explain some of this stuff. Right, so you start off with just a flat note. <laughs> then it's all about the feel. So that's 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 the that's these are the flat notes. Okay, so you go back to the 17 and then you bend from there. So that is it's that it's that bend from, from that note to And there's a lot of um, a lot of vibrato to make make the string soar on the fret. That's where a lot of the voice to your playing comes in. And by dropping the string while it's still still humming, can you hear that little bit of vibrato at the top of the note? And that's where the feel comes in. And it's very inexact, actually. I mean, obviously, Gilmore would be more exact than me, but sometimes you're bending it a little bit more or less. But between that sort of milli note, you're getting a bit of 
sound, a bit of voicing, a bit of feel in, in there. And uh, obviously, if you played that, if I played that 20 times, every time, even though it's a, a super, basically you're playing that. Basically, you're playing that. And the vibrato, and where you pick the note, if you pick a note that's bent, you're getting, and, and wobbling it around, you're getting a lot of quarter notes, eighth notes. Which is the modulation of a voice, really. And that's why he sounds so singy in his playing. <laughs> 